Patrick Craven holds his daughter's hand a little tighter today. The Placer County Sheriff's detective has seen too many parents lose their children to fentanyl poisoning. Another last night. He usually walks his daughter to preschool, but he didn't get home from work last night until this morning. Didn't get to drop her off, but uh, promised I would pick her up. He was called out on his 18th fentanyl murder investigation last night. He keeps photos of some of his first victims nearby. Today, the Placer County Sheriff's Detective is picking up evidence from a neighboring agency. This evidence is for his first fentanyl murder jury trial, only the third jury trial in the state. Though Craven's work has already led to two of California's three fentanyl murder convictions. His previous cases pled guilty without trial. He's now lead detective on a first of its kind opioid investigation unit in California. They're committed to investigating every single fentanyl related death in their jurisdiction. He refers to the fentanyl laced pills in this envelope as a murder weapon. Other local agencies have similar opioid investigation units, but don't necessarily investigate every fentanyl death himself how to play piano. Detective Craven's commitment to these types of investigations began with Zach, who we featured in this recent CBS News investigation into fentanyl test strips. He played violin in the orchestra. He was a straight-A student. He starred in the school musical. He was on the track team, on the soccer team. He got a nearly perfect score on the SATs. I mean, he just... Zach Didier's case was Detective Craven's first fentanyl murder investigation. Zach and his friend bought Percocet pills on Snapchat. Three weeks before he died at that desk, I was with him at that desk finalizing his applications for the UCs. Zach deserves to know where he would have gotten in. Zach died two days after Christmas 2020, before many people had even heard of counterfeit pills or fentanyl. Within a year, fentanyl would be blamed for one in five deaths of young people in California. A CBS News analysis of the most recent state data finds that death rate remains nearly twice pre-pandemic levels. It's hard because you, you become so close to these victims. 18 investigations later, he says it's not any easier, but a lot has changed. For instance, before Zach, when someone died from fentanyl. It was, it was a coroner's report and that was it. There was no criminal investigation. Today, there are a growing number of fentanyl investigation units across the state focused on holding dealers accountable. And they will be held accountable in Placer County as we proved it. This is the observation room where detectives watch autopsies. Too many of those autopsies are linked to these. Pills purchased on the apps, often sold as name brand prescription drugs, but almost always laced with fentanyl. DEA's determined that seven out of every 10 pills contains a lethal dosage. Something he hopes to help stop, though he acknowledges his investigative work would be pointless. District Attorney's Office. Without a district attorney to file the fentanyl murder charges, the Placer County DA, Morgan Geyer, has filed four so far. And he had the state's first fentanyl murder conviction. Deputy DA Daniel West worked with Detective Craven on Zach Didier's case. He says, then what? You, uh, 15, 18, plus nine. The county is now preparing for its first fentanyl murder jury trial which means Detective Craven has another long night ahead of him. But first, he's headed home. Transitioning back from detective to dad. No work. At least not until bedtime.